Gemini, this is Piper from Piper's Dragon Tarot, and this is your reading for January. Love, money, career. We're going to use the Radiant Rider Waite deck. We're going to give you one card for love, one card for money, one card for career. We will clarify. We'll give you some cards for advice, including uh, one card for monology. And um, at the end of the read, we'll give you one card from Wisdom of the Golden Path for spiritual guidance. Um, <clears throat> thank you for watching. Happy New Year. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. <clears throat> Click the notification bell and you'll never miss a video. Also, a special link will be added to the bottom of this, uh, the description box below this video for the unexpected, which will be a little bit extra for you guys. Click on that link. It'll take you to Vimeo. The reading's $1.99, and it's a little bit of extra surprise what you don't see coming in the month of January. So, Gemini, please, for the month of January, spit one card for love, one card for money, one card for career for Gemini. Love, money, career for Gemini, please. Love, money, career. Gemini for the month of January. All right. Okay, here we go. Love, two of wands in the reverse. Money, ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles, good for money. And career, the moon. The moon. Bottom of the deck. I'm going to pull a couple cards from the bottom of the deck. I'm getting more into the bottom of the deck as I do readings. I feel like this is either an outcome or just a really good overall message for the month. So you got temperance and the ten of cups on the bottom of the deck. So you have goodness. Some You have some good things going on here. The ten of pentacles and the ten of cups. So with temperance and the ten of cups here... This is happiness and ba this is a happiness and balanced relationship. This is a happy the Ten of Cups is happy family, perfect relationship, happiness at home, and the Temperance is about <laughs> Spirit is so funny. They're like Temperance is about managing things according to the the power of the universe. It's about unity, um, alchemy. Things coming together. Could be two people coming together here with the temperance card. Um, they're saying you're going to feel more balanced in January in family life and love here with these. This is kind of a great overall reading for January. So there's something you, by the way, there's something you guys have accepted here. Some spirit is saying January has accepted the facts and they're now moving on towards a much more balanced and congruous, congruent, I should say, um, existence. So something is, something has changed. You guys have accepted something or moved on from something, um, and they're saying Gemini is going to start to enjoy serenity. So for those of you that are married, this is a very happy situation. For those of you that aren't, it's about you may very well have um, a new relationship coming in here. But. I don't know what this is, but the, the temperance card, they're also saying that Gemini has started to realize what it takes to make something work. 
Um, it's about being more balanced. This can be also managing your behavior a little bit. Um, I feel like you're balancing your emotions here, Gemini. Um, they're saying Gemini is not so topsy-turvy as they normally would be. They have, Gemini has... Yeah, I don't, there's something going on here. They, they keep talking about the universe and the gods. So I don't know what you guys did here. Um, <laughs> they're saying the angel of temperance has spoken. Pretty interesting. All right. So you guys are enjoying some, some well-balanced happiness in January here. So for love, two of wands, however, in the reverse. Two of wands in the reverse is about possibly being unprepared for something. Um... It could also be someone who isn't able to hold up their end of the bargain. Two of Wands is about a partnership because there are two people here or two things or two ideas. Um, so, okay. Some of you are getting over this. Um, some of you are getting over a partnership in which someone was not prepared to offer you Someone wasn't prepared to give you their best offer or they weren't ready. They just weren't able to, Gemini. Um, this is about getting over your past here. Also, for those of you, they are saying you're not ready. That you, It's like, I feel like you guys don't have a lot of time. Um, so again, this temperance card with the 10 of cups, you guys may have someone coming in and this is about, they're saying lack of preparedness. Um, Oh my God, they're saying getting yourself, the two of wands in reverse is about trying to get yourself ready in time. It's about not really having been prepared in advance. And so like, this is like no planning here. Um, and so in a way, you may not be able to hold up your end of the bargain if you're not ready for love. <laughs> Gemini, I'm going to clarify here. Um, So they're saying time is flying by, just so you know, Gemini, time is flying by. And if there's something that you wanted to do to get ready, or if you think you might be headed into a relationship, they're saying somebody's coming, somebody's arriving, there's an arrival. Um, Gemini, there's, it, so, all right, so I, yeah, I'm not sure what this is about. Some of you are on a list somewhere, and when I see that, um, Spirit is calling it a small town gossip list, which is code for, like, <laughs> sorry, my translation isn't really, like, 100% tonight. Um, I tend to repeat every word they say, and sometimes I need to, like, fix it before I relay it but uh they're saying there's a list and your name is on it i feel like it's a guest list and it's something local like a wedding or a dinner or where you may need to make an acceptance speech of some sort and um so you may need to be if this isn't a new love you might need to be ready to um, appear in public well it's in your love sector so yes um Okay, so the, yeah, this is them inviting you somewhere and you're not, at least you may not feel ready or feel prepared. Um, oh my goodness, yeah, oh. They're saying you're gonna need to suit up for, I keep hearing the word Boston's best. I don't know what that means, but there is something that you're gonna be invited to. And I feel like Gemini, some of you are either gonna have to put on a suit or put on a long black dress. They just said long red dress. <laughs> uh, and so I feel like you guys aren't quite there yet. Um, so...
this is, it's so funny. This, hmm, hmm. All right, let's clarify that. Please clarify the two of wands. Some of you, I don't, again, they're saying picked from a list. Some of you may have to receive an award. Oh boy, okay. Clarified by the love card. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the love card. Yeah, this is, oh my God, they're saying you may have a prior commitment you might have to free yourself from, by the way. Um, hmm. Well, clarified by love. Um <laughs> they're saying I don't so this person is going to arrive very soon to tell you about this so there's something that you're being invited to I feel like you guys might not be ready or you're not expecting this sort of thing but it's time to prep yourself Gemini because someone's either inviting you to this thing or very definitely here um, I'm going to get you a couple cards for advice ooh Gemini Blame, goodness. I accept responsibility for my well being and change. I understand that nothing will grow or evolve without movement. Bottom of the deck is denial. So the blame card encourages you to forget about your past and take responsibility for bringing yourself up to speed. So there is also, you guys, a focus on getting back in shape here. I've heard it a couple times now. Gemini needs to focus on getting back in shape. It's about taking responsible for your well-being. Literally, this makes you feel better um, and puts you in a better frame of mind to Again, they're saying suit up. So there, this could be a formal event. I'm not really sure. But uh, the change card is about... Goodness. Um, okay. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. The change card, they're saying... The change card is about learning fluent French before. <laughs> before this event takes place. I don't know what that's all about. The change card. Is about. Okay. They're saying it's about having an effect on your own self worth. So. Blame and change. This is about making something happen for yourself. I feel like you guys aren't ready for this thing because you're not feeling your best quite yet. And the universe is telling you to, time to go here. Um, sorry, I'm trying to refocus the phone. So yeah, you, there is something you guys are gonna need to, sorry about that noise, my cat just threw himself in the garbage barrel in the kitchen. It was gonna be a mess to clean up. Um, you guys need to kind of like jumpstart yourself because if you don't, you're not going to be ready. So that's what the change card is about. Kind of exciting. Gemini. Okay. Ten of Pentacles in finance. Ten of Pentacles is about reaching a point of stability where you can depend on things staying harmonized and calm. Again, I'm hearing about another person here. I feel like there's two people involved. Um,
this is about, oh my goodness, they're saying this is about making money and being content about each other's abilities and what you can bring to the table. So I feel like, again, I feel like there's two people here. So if you're already in a relationship, it's about, I feel like you guys, some of you may work together, um, but there is, I feel like there's mutual respect here. So financially speaking, Gemini, you're going to win some very big opportunities in the month of January. I feel like this is really what this reading is all about. But there's also an element of... They're saying, again, feeling safe within each other's talents. So I feel like there's two people bringing money to the table here or bringing abilities to the table. Like everybody, I feel like this is about everybody carrying their weight. Um, this is about like no more he said she said um, everybody makes money here in January so if you're dealing with another person this person is very much your equal I feel and they, they contribute everybody contributes um, you may be um, hanging out with someone who's who's both of you, I feel like are very good at what you do. And that's where this benefit comes in. The 10 of pentacles is about stability, wealth. Yeah. They're saying financial, like peace. Um, things are going well in January. Clearly. Also about facing certain realities and adjusting the budget. Making sure things are being controlled well and getting benefit from that. Um, so it's very good sign financially about stability. You guys are going to find that you have some money in your pocket in January. Um, and they are saying it is about making sure you spend it on things that matter. Um, so where you guys may not have had money in your pocket before, um, you will in January. Please clarify. Here we go. Oh, look at this reunion. You guys have a great month here. The reunion card is about... They're saying the reunion card is about hanging out together without any acid tongues. It's about mutual respect again. So you guys might be getting back together with someone here. Um, they're saying the reunion card is about feeling satisfied with what's been said. So a certain comfort level has been reached here between two people. And stability ensues. Um, Gemini, so again, I feel a lot of the time when I do these readings that so these three subjects may run together a little bit money money and love and career it all kinds of like hinges on one another a little bit so you're going to see that bleed into um especially if you you guys are you know unfortunately relationships tend to be about money sometimes not wholly about money but it affects things so um but i feel like this is you whoever this person is you guys reach some sort of like communal level where things, whatever's come to a head has already come to a head. And this is about the aftermath, which is really good. Um, so, and there's also an element of, I feel like you guys are going to get yourself back on track. 
and this is about something about you guys feeling comfortable in your own skin again when you get back on track. And so you may have, you, you know, you are affecting change here. They're asking you to in January anyway. Um, hmm. So it's very promising. So, <clears throat> financial stability and a relationship as well here, Gemini. I feel like you guys think this is supposed to happen and that's why you feel like this. Some of you just gave up trying to figure it all out and were like, yeah, this is the right thing to do. Like you listened to your intuition and you went ahead and, and you know, reunited with somebody, worked it out. And it's affecting you financially here. It's bringing you to a, a very stable place. The failure card. I understand that a mistake is an opportunity to learn. Ah, an abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into physical reality. The failure card is about learning from your mistakes and making sure you don't repeat them. The abundance card is about experiencing what really makes you happy. The, they're saying and the abundance card is about landing a special person back in your life again and realize you missed them. <laughs> and apparently you did miss them. Oh, I forgot your moonology cards. All right, we'll go back at the end and we'll do moonology. Uh, okay. Career, the moon. So the moon card, the moon card can mean a lot of things. It can mean dreams. It can mean prescience. It can mean not knowing something. Um, the moon card is about, uh, okay, so they're saying it's about feeling anxious about things in a general way. So this is like, generally not knowing or feeling like you don't know what's coming or like something's coming but you don't know what it is it's about having like a little bit of foreboding and i i don't know really why gemini Yeah, so I don't know why you're nervous about career, but there are. They're saying that you are. They're saying that you have this, this foreboding or this weird feeling that you kind of can't make heads or tails of. Um, so I, I feel like your career has moved into a new phase, but you guys are nervous for whatever reason. There seems to be a general feeling of instability or unpredictability on the job front or um, some of you feel like you're being <clears throat> survey surveyed or watched or you know somebody's keeping a close eye on you or that things have become a little bit strained in the workplace and um, I feel like you guys are nervous So I do, okay, so I, and you might be feeling this way for a very good reason, Gemini. So they are saying that your career, there is something coming. There is something, something is going to make you happy and something is going to change or something is on the horizon and you do have, you can feel something coming. You're of course kind of like, thinking it's maybe not like a really good thing. You feel a little anxious and like things may be on the rocks. Um, but I feel spirit is saying soon something good comes of this. Um, but you guys can't 
let this feeling sway you. So you do need to get going. You do need to get back on the horse. You do need to keep pushing. You do need to keep qualifying yourself in the workplace. Don't stop trying to improve yourself. Don't stop trying to They, they want you to keep making yourself the best you can be because soon something comes of this. Very definitely. Um, yeah. Please clarify the moon. Clarified by the waiting card which you are, you appear to be waiting on something. Um, and then the scholar card came out as well. So you are waiting to learn of what is to come. So um, you guys might be educated on a new subject soon. There may be some training headed for you or something new and special, which is just for you. But you may have to, again, I keep hearing, um, you may need to qualify yourself. So there's some studying that needs to be done or you need to learn or keep improving yourself again while you wait here. And not only do you need to kind of get better at what you do, Gemini, um, figure out what your wants and needs are, because I feel like you might be asked. You may be asked actually how to structure things moving forward. And so your input may be required. And I feel like this is important. So while you're kind of... Uh, stuck in this little, like, I feel like you're stuck somewhere. You're stuck in this waiting period or you're stuck in this weird foreboding kind of thing. Um, yeah. So keep learning. Keep learning, Gemini. Advice cards. Here we go. <laughs> Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Whoa, okay, that's like 10 cards. You can't have those, sorry. Come on, phone. And surrender. I can release my need to control. Well, another card just fell off the bottom. Fine, I'm going to take it. Honesty, we'll put that out there too. All right. So the indecision card is about... So if the, you do need to trust your feelings. You do have a gut feeling here. And that gut feeling is correct. Although you may, I feel like you guys are, are leaning a little bit towards the negative side. Like you have a little bit of worry there. Um, tinged with worry <laughs> for you guys. The indecision card is about letting go of that. Trusting your intuition. Following your inner guide. Um... Yeah, so like feelings are important. So like if you feel like you're not working hard enough, then work harder. If you feel like you're working too hard, you know, slow it down to an acceptable pace. That sort of thing. It's okay to trust your your um, your inner feelings. The surrender card is about realizing that you can't affect every decision made. Um, you do have to release something to the universe. So you guys know you got to get the ball rolling and then let the universe take care of the rest. The honesty card is about being made aware of what is actually the situation very soon. All right, I'm going to pull a moonology card for each one. Quick, quick. Okay, back to love. 
Moonology card for love in January for Gemini. Ooh, that was that was fast. Here we go. All right. The end of a rough cycle approaches. Yes. Okay. So we talked about blame and change and getting back into shape and possibly it needing to attend um, an important event. This card signifies... Yeah, they're saying uh, in which Gemini, um, okay, this is the end of a long cycle in which Gemini learned to become another person. So you guys are remaking yourself here, I feel like, and it's the last leg of the journey. You still have to put in effort with this card. The end of a rough cycle approaches, but there is, it's like approaching the finish line. So Gemini needs to finish the race here. Keep pushing, keep going, keep changing. All right. Finances, Moonology. Well, you and your loved ones are safe. So we had the Ten of Pentacles and Failure in Abundance. You guys are experiencing a very good time here in fi with finances. Um, it's about feeling safe and secure. This card signifies you have arrived at a place of... <laughs> They're saying sanity and well-being. Um, okay, there is an element of controlling your emotions here. You have the temperance card up top, and I did mention that in the beginning. It's about um, making your behavior more balanced. Um, you and your loved ones are safe means everybody benefits from the behaviors that are being exhibited. And by benefit, I mean Ten of Pentacles. Financially well off, you know, secure, safe, making money. Um, things are kind of going along seamlessly. And there's a relationship here. You and your loved ones are safe. Everybody experiences benefit from whatever this is, from learning from your mistakes and creating abundance. It creates abundance. All right, career. Your dreams need a practical plan. So this card is about, remember I said you have to keep educating yourself and keep learning, and even though you feel a little weird, you may feel a little like you don't know what's going on, um, weird foreboding. Um, your dreams need a, pla a practical plan. This card encourages you to write down things you are questioning, things you have questions about, educating yourself. Um, putting things down on paper makes you feel more stable, like you have a goal. Even in the workplace, even if you work full time, like for another company, even if you're not an entrepreneur, um, it's about feeling better about your situation. Um, putting your ideas down on paper saves them for later. So when you need to use them, you can just refer to that. Um, practical plan, you guys. All right, one more card. Spiritual guidance for the month of January. Here we go, Gemini. Wisdom. The wisdom card is about making decisions. Okay, the wisdom card is about This is about knowing you've done the right thing and knowing you've made the right choices, feeling better about a situation. There may have been a situation where you felt drained or you doubted your ability to handle it, but the wisdom card says that you have made the better decisions. You have done the right things. All right, I'm going to read from the, whoop, there it is right there. The greatest wisdom is to see through appearances. And this card confirms that you have taken the right course of action. You have responded in the correct manner. Sometimes the best thing for all concerned is to have the strength to say no. Your recent responses will empower and help both you and others. You have shown great wisdom by standing in your truth, and yet you have done this with great love and respect for yourself and others. You are like the willow whose branches sway with the wind, but whose roots remain firmly embedded in the earth. Life is constantly changing, but its core essence remains the same. 
Love and wisdom do not change. They only grow stronger. Continue to live and respond to all in your life through love and truth. For in doing so, you honor the spirit of all living things. All right, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to check below. Click on the link for the unexpected for a little bit extra surprise in January. And... Um, Thank you for um, liking and sharing, and I'll see you next month. Bye.